Hey everyone, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com and today we're taking a look at the Airlift Load Lifter 5000 Ultimate Air Helper Springs with internal jounce bumpers. These are designed to work with the rear axle and this is a custom fit kit for the 2019 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 and the GMC Sierra 1500 as well. So basically what these are going to do for your truck is help to give you some load leveling capabilities. A lot of times whenever you're hauling anything really heavy in your truck, it's going to weigh down the back end. That's going to drop that down and then bring the front end up. So that's going to mess with our steering geometry, points our headlights in the wrong direction. They're now pointing up rather than sitting level or pointing down towards the road. And it also just makes our truck ride a lot worse. We typically get a lot of more bottoming out. The ride can be pretty uncomfortable, so it doesn't feel too great whenever we're riding in our truck with our heavy load in the back. So these are going to help us to bring that back end back up, bring the front end back down, and everything should ride back at factory height. In addition, these are also going to allow you to adjust side to side. So if you have something like an in-bed camper, uh, this allows you to adjust one side up independently. So it gives you some flexibility there as well, so you don't have one side of your truck leaning off to the outside, making it kind of tricky to turn and things like that. Our kit's going to come with everything you see laid out here on the table, so we'll have our air springs with the brackets to attach into our truck. We don't have to worry about any cutting or drilling. It's just going to install with these custom fit brackets. We have a couple of options to match with different configurations of our GMC or our Chevy. It also comes with a length of air hose to get our connections made to our bags. They already have the Schrader valves installed on the ends and then we'll have our hardware there to attach to any mounting point we choose. A lot of people will choose to mount it to a bracket on their hitch. A bracket would be sold separately um, or you can just zip tie them to the hitch if you really want to. You just want to make sure that there is going to be securely mounted. I've also seen people actually install these behind the flap on their gas can or their um, access door to their gas tank. You can also replace the hardware for your license plate with the Schrader valves and kind of use those. It's kind of a cool hidden look there, so some options for you. Uh, another option you can get to go with this kit would be an air compressor kit, which would help to maintain a constant pressure or a dialed in pressure on your airbags. So if you're going to be doing a lot of towing or you're going to be under more constant load, that can be a great option so you don't have to worry about going somewhere to get your airbags filled, finding a gas station that has an air pump, maybe one that's free, you know, all those things. So it helps to keep air in your bags at all time and then you can also adjust it on the fly from the inside of your cab so it makes life a little bit easier there those are also sold separately you can find those here at eTrailer.com you can get ones that are a single pass which basically just marries the two bags together so we lose some adjustability because we can't adjust them side to side now they're going to be conjoined so they're just going to raise and, f and rise and lower at the same rate or you can get a dual pass, which keeps the independence for those bags side to side. Compressors are a little bit more expensive. They are an additional investment that you have to make for your truck. But definitely, if you're going to be towing a lot, or if you're going to have something that's going to be in your truck at all times, it's a good option to go. If you don't need to have that much adjustability, if you're going to have a constant load in there that isn't going to change, you're not taking it out and putting it back in, something like a more stable system like a Timberin spring or the Sumo Springs might be a better option because it'll still give you some cushion. It'll help to support your suspension, but it's not going to be as uh, as big of a financial investment. So something to think about there. Airbags front are really great for having that adjustability and being able to make those quick adjustments, especially if you're hauling heavy stuff and then taking it back out again. Whenever you're running your airline, a couple notes to make with that. You want to make sure that you're not running this by anything that's going to be hot or anything that's going to be moving. So you want to stay away from your exhaust, stay away from your suspension. And you also don't want to drag that across any kind of sharp edges because that can cause little grooves to form in that air hose and it can make it really tricky to get everything connected without any leaks. So just a couple notes to think about there. Customers have good things to say about the airlift. Uh, it's a great system. It's pretty comparable to the Firestone system. The one thing that I would give uh, Firestone a little 
nod to is that their bags are actually rated to hold the weight of the axle. So if you go to have your truck maintenance for anything, uh, Firestone says that you can actually let the, the axle hang. So if you're getting any kind of tire maintenance, things like that, it, oftentimes you're just letting that axle hang. The airlift bags do not have that rating. So if you do get these and you want to go anywhere to get any maintenance done, just mention that you have airbags and they should be able to work around it. But you definitely want to mention that if you're getting any work done on your truck. Now with all those things in mind, let's go over some of the specs. These are going to have a load leveling capacity of up to 5,000 pounds. Now that's not going to increase increase your vehicle's weight carrying capacity, it doesn't increase your payload, it just helps to support those OEM suspension components. So this is going to help those last longer since we're spreading the weight out over another component in our system. The adjustable air pressure goes from 5 PSI up to 100 PSI, so there is a bit of maintenance with these. You do have to make sure that you have at least 5 pounds of pressure in the bags at all times to make sure that they don't wear out prematurely. and. That's one thing, again, that the timber and springs are something that's more uh, uh, stable system or non-adjustable is that you don't have to worry about any maintenance. So another thing to consider there. They do have a lifetime warranty from Airlift and a 60-day satisfaction guarantee. They are made in the USA. And that's going to do it for our look at the Airlift Load Lifter 5000 Ultimate Air Helper Springs with internal Jones bumpers.